Welcome everyone, Quistine here with my campaign guide for Belakor, Warriors of Chaos. Belakor is one of the strongest legendary lords in the entire game. His strength comes from the fact that he can have an unlimited number of gifted units in all of his armies. That means unlimited number of hell cannons, um, dragon ogre shagoths, chaos war shrines, etc, etc. And he is Chaos Undivided, so he has access to the entire roster of Excellent. the of Chaos, really. Be it uh, Warriors of Chaos or Demons of Chaos. Now he has, he starts a war with a minor faction of Zinj, whose faction leader you will see again. And he is in Albion, Warhammer Britain. And he's going to take it over buy it, vassalize it, uh, get raid trophies, and get maybe a corpse mound, or maybe not. Now, Gifts of Chaos. He has all of the Gifts of Chaos, though unlike, say, Archeon, he doesn't have two slots uh, open for Undivided, but he gets all of them for Corn, Nurgle, Slanish, um, Tinch. My advice is to start working on Nur Nurgle, specifically get Bloom of Decay from turn 1 and also get Corn for some Blood Letters, get Master. recruitment over here of those Blood Letters. You can also take advantage of the Plague Bearers of Nurgle, though I would not necessarily recommend it. Also I would switch these Cast Warriors to Cast Warriors with, uh, with Great Weapon. Lord Leveling wise, get Root Marcher, Inspiring Presence, and Savage Bloodless, because you are going to use quite a few uh, demonic units. Over here, I'll get Training and Blade Master for the hero, and research wise, start with Scrutiny of the Dark Gods. Our thoughts crystallize. Alright, so next up. I am going to go get the Citadel of Lead and get that minor faction of uh, Tsinj fully under my control. Now I think that AI Belakor would be far more effective if he did this. Instead what the various Warriors of Chaos, I'm sure you guys have noticed in your campaigns that the Warriors of Chaos, even though they are very strong, don't necessarily accomplish all that Festus, but he's really the exception. I mean, Sigvald does conquer a decent portion of the north, but he never moves really against the Empire or anything like that, or against the Dark Elves. But anyway, I am going to subjugate them, get 500 souls, that's going to be very nice. Uh, get some Marauder Horsemen, and move uh, move on ahead. The first. Okay. I am and I am going to Do go not stop. for the Troll uh, Fjord. The now, there are several plans you can follow through on as Belakor. Uh, there's the Northern plan, the essentially. And there are several variations, okay, depending on what you, where you want to go. I'm going to disable the Fog of War and just show it. One of the things you can do with in the north is subdue Sigvald very quickly. Here's what you need to know about Sigvald. If you take this particular fortress from him, you will confederate him. And with him confederated, you will gain a great deal of power. Now, one of the things I am going to do over here is go to Musalon, because you do start with Vision over there, and ask to join <laughs> their wars yes, let us in exchange for um, not necessarily, an, well, a non-aggression pact. All right, and some money. Now, you yes. want to do this, not because you Word are so Walker. eager to fight Bretonia, you're not, My fellow but on the flip side, no you want, um, on the flip side, you want to get Bretonia involved in a war against you. Because what you really want is for Bretonia to waste their time. If Bretonia is wasting their time against you, then that gives Musulan time to survive against them. 
Eventually, you can vassalize Mesalon. But basically, what ends up happening in a lot of campaigns is that Leon Leon Kerr uh, manages to take out both uh, to take on Mussolon and then run. You don't want that to happen in your campaign. You don't want Lewin Leoncor uh, to have that kind of freedom of movement. So you're just going to jump in and prevent that uh, from happening. Now, I think they've buffed uh, the capital. Don't anger of Bretonia. When I'm a champions for. So over here, I'm going to, to go to him, and I'm going to ask him to join his me? war against those guys. Just get a bit of money. I'll see it through. Now he does have a dark fortress. The one he has is over here. Now he's going to march out to take out this particular faction, which also has dark fortress. Now you can ba vassalize both of them, and then the Varg, and then go deal with Sigvald. Hopefully, <laughs> if uh, if things do go well. Now you can take the troll fjord. Just bear in mind that Wolfric's army is going to be further ahead, and he might be wiping out that minor faction. Um, if he takes a minor settlement from them, that's great. It means you can. Um, it means you can subjugate them a bit later or you can ignore the troll fjord and go directly for the dark fortress but of course that means you're gonna have to double back uh, to deal with wolfric there's pros and cons with both approaches for my part i am just going to take the troll fjord Alright, I lost those Laneshi fellows, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to get more blood letters and some chaos uh, trolls. Also going to get more plague bearers. And Path to Glory has been enabled. Gonna get more points in Savage Bloodlust. Uh, get one point in a uh, chaos strategist for the casualty replenishment. Research-wise, you want to get Infernal March. Now, another plan for Bellacor, one that I should talk about, is that you've got the portal in Albion uh, over here. Now, you can use this portal to go to two locations from the start of the campaign, but you can open up more later on. Where you can take the portal is right on Draka's doorstep. And you can just show up here, burn it to the ground, get a lot of money for doing so, and then shove off. And Draka won't be able to stop you. Or you can burn and pillage a lot of the Empire without anyone being the wiser. The now, not if you declare war on Lu and Leoncor, he is always going to Lord do this. Where to business. he is we'll going to... Now, for whatever reason, they didn't join my war against uh, Karun. Yes. Interesting. Either way, it doesn't uh, matter because this might this faction will uh, deal with it. Now, for whatever reason, when you subjugate the faction of Siege, they'll get a bunch of Skaven. I'll lay enough. I d can't necessarily explain it Lord to be honest with shadows. you, but it will happen more often than not. Now, there are several possibilities with Wolfric. Uh, the way Norska works confederation-wise is if they kill the faction leader of the opposing faction, they will forcefully confederate. Now, I don't know why these guys 
didn't uh, join in. It does happen. It's something I have noticed happening multiple times. But regardless of reason, what is important is that we're keeping Luan Leoncourt occupied while Musalan over here survives for Darkest a bit longer. Comes. Like, Kamler is going to move on Artois. By and by keeping uh, Leoncourt's uh, attention fixed on us, it's that gives the Red hard. Duke an opportunity to strike against Leonis. That's really what this is about. It's about helping the Red Duke. Because hard by easy. helping the Red Duke, I am helping myself, really, ultimately. Okay, these two, I am going to merge um, all of these guys together. And we're then going to stri uh, strike on the monolith over here. Though, it does seem that it's a bit farther away anyway. Okay. Mountainous terrain. Gotta love it. Not really. And the benefit there... Okay, there's Wolfric. Uh, the benefit over there uh, comes down to... Uh, com comes down to the fact that with the Red Duke alive, Bretonia is not free to expand the across the entirety of Leoness uh, as a territory they without uh, any real opposition. All of these guys would be wiped out if I fi if I ought to resolve it. If I fight manually, easy job. Now, there is a downside to playing Bellacor. There is a bit of a major downside to playing Bellacor, and that is the fact that if you do play Bellacor, you should expect to have to fight a bunch of uh, these kind of battles manually. The reason is, although Bellacor is certainly strong, he isn't ridiculously strong. And crucially, the blood letters he has... Uh, the blood letters he does have aren't the best uh, armored uh, units in the entire world. So what that really means is that they're going to take uh, quite a bit of uh, damage in an auto-resolve situation. Alright, here they come. That said, in a proper manual battle they will do quite well. I mean, of course they will. Alright, they're engaged. Alright, now, blood letters are really, really powerful in the early game because they're meant and quite capable of holding their own against endgame units. Now, these cast warriors, if I keep them in, like exalted blood letters, were some of the very best units in in the entire game. That is not an exaggeration. By the way. Now the battle here is going to be fairly simple. The Caspan are going to kill Wolfric right there. Uh, the one concern is of course with regards to the Mammoths. 
but I I reckon that we should be fine. interesting how shit plague bearers are to the point that literally freaking marauder uh, can beat them whereas whereas these guys these blood letters are quite capable of holding their own uh, to a degree of course not completely But they're quite capable of holding their own. Finally, the Mar Marauders have broken their. It would have been a bit humiliating to have been if they had literally lost over there. Against a unit of Marauders. I am Right, these guys are breaking apart. I do expect them to break. Call me Buff up his armor. Yes, Lord. Quick! Once he dies, the army losses will kick in. Send these guys over there. Pull back. What will kill? All right, Marauder champions beating those guys is a different matter altogether, and not necessarily entirely unexpected. Not welcome, but not surprising. Shadow Lord! Wolfric sure is capable of dishing out a lot of damage. So be it! They will succumb! All right, they're gonna start breaking. Break them. Alright, did he kill him? Hopefully he did. Alright, a Peric victory and lost some units, but I did win a battle. There is 
Little time for talking. War unceasing. Champ, Lord of Bretonia. Okay, off. All right, getting more units. All goes to plan. I will not be able to attack anyway this particular turn. I did take quite a few casualties over the there. But I'm also getting cast trolls with armor and some other God units. I'm not, I'm not gonna level him. I want to wait until I can unlock his special skill tree. Now I'm gonna get this fortress to a higher level. And Leoncor is going to uh, march Norska. against me. I'm listening. Hopefully. The Dark Master Ascendant. Okay. Call me Master. Now, Norska doesn't have walls in their settlements, which means that they're a lot easier to take. Of course, I would prefer if I could just you know, not resolve the situation, um, because that would be a lot better. But given the casualties I've taken, that might not be necessarily a feasible uh, solution there. The first damned to break them. All right. And I will subjugate him, by the way. So we're looking at a bunch... Like, there's no more mammoths. Those uh, have all been wiped out. So I'm just going to deploy all of these guys here. So that when the reinforcements do come, they're going to get annihilated. Although, I think... Right, so that's the garrison force. He's on a mount, 40 seconds. So I'll just use these three units because they're a lot less hurt. And send in the spawn. Hero. 
Alright, turn these guys around. And then get these guys to attack over here. And move the skirmishers into position as well. Salanesh. The dark gods command me. I'll do their thing. Okay, maybe Bellacor needs a bit of help. Sending the trolls to help out. There we go. Lord of Torment. This is right, God Maker. The first demon prince. Well, that is uh, certainly a nice me item. Here to duel. Too bad. Ah, uh, yeah, the one downside of my little plan. plan. And one I should have been aware of. See, you can't trade capitals, neither you or the AI. So by taking the Troll Fjord when I did, um, by taking the Troll Fjord, the masters have surely fated this meeting. What brings you here, Captain? It is set. I've Your ensured that I can't take that as Dark Fortress. It's no bother, ultimately. 
One less Dark Fortress is not going to terminate me. Though not gonna lie, it is a bit of an unfortunate um, turn movement. Regardless, though, that is a good amount of money. And I got the new basket. Now I'm gonna keep getting those blood letters. Which I can also turn. I can also turn those blood le uh, letters into exalted blood blood letters, which are the most powerful, or one of the most powerful melee infantry units in the entirety of the game. I'm not quite sure what would be a better uh, infantry unit. Wow, you sure are quite strong, my dude. Well, he got the full stack of units. So of course you would be very strong indeed there. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get the Doom Keep for myself. The first demon prince. Move now. The first and get the entirety damned. of this uh, particular region for myself as well. Now, there are various effects. I can open a rift over here, but I don't necessarily need uh, to do so uh, at this particular time. Okay, what units can I get over here? Well, one unit you should never ignore, and one unit that is particularly useful are castrols. Why? Because they're heavily armored. The armored version of them, that is are uh, heavily armed heed. and quite very deadly in a fight you are mine. far more so than one might imagine like after this point i don't necessarily want to mess around with this army though i want to get rid of no those forsaken because i don't like forsaken master. as a unit one could argue i could turn the forsaken into cast bond sure fair enough anyway i'm going to take the grayling moat for myself or give it to wolfric uh, or give it to the minor uh, faction over there. But yeah, Wolf Wolfric has become my puppet, so to speak. At least he should be happy that uh, he does have a capital. So I guess it's better if you just take the... You are no more god. Harbinger, you may think that. Okay. Time to die. You know what I'm. The Dark Master. Call now I'll keep that regiment right now master. in reserve. Get these horse monsters. I've been looking forward to this. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. I'm going to take the Doom God for myself. Maker. And gonna take then the plane as well. So Wolfric has two armies over there. Neither of them full strength, but both of them pretty decent. I'm also going to start construction of a second army to deal with uh, the dark uh, fortress over here, held by the scaling. You stand. No. No interest in peace. Lord of Torment. The Four Token. Right over here for him. Hard to hit. Get that. Now, Bellacor does have a lot of advantages. Undeniably so. I'm gonna get... Um, Sorcerer. I'm going to get one with Iron Skin. 
Metal or shadows? Both of them are good. I mean, death and fire are also pretty solid in their own right. True enough. I'm gonna get some cast bond. Do have one extra unit there. Do I need it? Well, Bellacor gets a lord advantage of Shadow Shroud. Like, he doesn't... You can make whatever army you want with him. I personally prefer having... Um, well, I could get rid of some some of those Marauder Horsemen and get another Blood Leather unit me. over there instead. God maker. What level is this? Is so um, tier one. Okay, fair enough. Yes. Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna get the Nagalfari plane over there. The Varg have decided to withdraw. 20% tribute from Vassal or to control. I'll go with control for a moment. No, undeniably, the tribute from Vassals might have helped keep me afloat a bit better. Oh, alright. Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? Damnation. Antif, let's talk terms. Without doubt. I am chosen. Whichever woeful deity protects you. It ends hit. I foresee destruction. Moving. They're gonna move. He's gonna move uh, over there. The first damned. Now, don't get me wrong. I am going to raid the bar camp. Let's see what the Varg do there. Hopefully they don't get wiped out. They do have some units at the very least, so it might be enough to keep them alive. We will see. Though the number of vassals isn't too important for, for you. as uh, Bellacor. You're not Archeon. Archeon cares about the large num having a large number of vassals. You don't strictly do. Okay. The first demon prince. Do not stop. Shadows move. It has corrupt. You have my promise. We're gonna take the Var this Camp. Right. Now the Var Camp is a port, so I can take it and then take the mountain. The four token. Research wise, we got the Infernal March. So now I'm gonna start working on corn. Specifically what I wanna get is the blood pack so I can get exalted blood letters. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Yes. Give them the moat so that they can survive. Azazel. What? Yes, lover. Fighter. And also, well, I would like to get some structures, but I can't. Harbinger. I'm gonna sack the bar camp. And then occupy it. 
and then sell it back. Let's see what the Varg are going to do. And eventually make my way to force Sigvald to bend the knee. Now, interesting bit, Sigvald does get a, a, a gyul, um, Norskans as a force vassal because he occupies a certain territory. Alright, display of might, so let's get that unit experience, a lovely, lovely unit experience. He's gained, uh, he's just half a level, less than half a level. Uh, gonna get fixed skinned for that extra armor. been looking forward to this prepare to be ripped to shreds artisan of pain troll king does not share depravity reigns all right this uh, particular uh, particular territory in the tower i'm not too interested right now in moving further princes bloodthirsty straight to business where shall we yes slaneshi her bring divine immortality okay get the doom keep to a higher level you have a proposal, yes? Good. I do so hate murderous rage before lunch. I'm declaring war to occupy his... His... Uh, space. His mental space, really. Now, it would be great if the Varg held more to more than just a few scattered bits of territory but even if these guys take the jetty that's actually good because it means they they're close enough to the north all right they wiped out uh sigvold's uh army over there Then I will move to Confederate Sigvald. By attacking what I have right here, I've prevented, or by declaring war on it here, I've prevented Sigvald from, uh, well, he is going to be occupied right now by me. And through that, I have hopefully prevented him from taking more territory. If he has taken more territory, it's no big deal. I'll get the Gyul as a vassal and start moving to 
take more territory. Though, in this case, the World Walkers might have just gotten wiped out over there by the Varg. I could wait another turn and take this monolith as a tier 2 settlement, or I could sack it right now. What? Pros and cons, pros and cons. The four token. No, they didn't get wiped out, just the map. It's a bit take bug. Heed. Okay. There yeah, I'm gonna no sack it. Escape from the dark master. Suck it! The dark master. You will serve me. While this will reduce the level. Whichever woeful deity protects. And I'm gonna you, give them the Vargas. We'll spill your blood. Outstanding. Artisan of pain. Are you Prince's Herald? Right, so he's gained some levels. By the Eldritch I see. Go now. Northman. Now these guys do have the altar of the crimson uh harvest over it there. I don't want to get more units right here. Okay, so I've got his special skill line. Now he gets a massive warband um, upgrade cost reduction for the Imanic unit. So getting exalted units is much cheaper with him. Though you can get exalted units only if you play Bellacor as a legendary lord. Path to Glory is available over here. I can devote to Corn or I can devote to Nurgle. Both of them are pretty good. Pros and cons. Now, the thing is, this would be very, very expensive. So I'm not going to do it just yet. Alright, over here, I am going to enable Shatterstone. And on top of that, I'm also going to look for one... How far am I from one particular upgrade? I've got it. Good. Harbinger. That is a key upgrade over there. Because that particular upgrade... I'm going to upgrade the trolls right now. Lord of that uh, particular upgrade will give you a great deal of... Um, of power all right I need more money the first demon prince and that will give me the eagle as a vassal now the veinlings uh, now these Albion Norskans have as much chance to take a dark fortress As Archeon has to conquer uh, Reichland in, in a campaign, which is exactly zero. I mean, Warriors of Chaos are great to play right now, but they don't do anything really in a campaign. Well, except Azazel, but even then, most of the time, Azazel just here. ends up... No. Uh, most of the time, Azazel just ends up wasting his time in... Uh, in a campaign. I mean, he sacks him, Keith left, then Kostaltin beats him back eventually. Even if he wins, he doesn't win on his own. Lord but I guess there that's the limitation of uh, their recruitment system for for the AI. Now I will be able to replenish in foreign territory now. And I'll be able to take this dark fortress at the moment. Okay, here I am going to get this. One downside with Warriors of Chaos is the ridiculous cost in terms of um, 
the ridiculous cost in terms of Lord of Shadows. Okay, I could take that if I had the money for it. Which I don't sadly. Now there's do a couple want? of possibilities when it comes Flanish down to sick world. He either doesn't have any more settlements, or he does, because he's at war. Okay, so he's at war with Subtle Pain, Crimson Skull. So chances are, is he's moved to the north. If he has moved to the north, he's got the Dark Fortress there. The one here, basically. There's also the Palace of Princes, though I'm not sure if, what kind of benefits you would get from the Palace of Princes, to be honest with you. Alright, so there is the Magnificent. He's basically not got anything else except that army and the garrison of the Dark Fortress. Now, attacking a Dark Fortress head-on is plain and simple suicidal. The defenses are very strong, though they have nerfed the towers. The dark master. Time to break them. Still. Cease. Lord of Torment. Excellent. Okay. So we unleash will be inconsequential. the Chaos Warriors with Grey Weapons versus the Marauders. I foresee destruction. Now what that means, and I'm pretty sure I'm correct on the Will sentiment. Talk quick? I will. Prince's Herald. Bones. Right, so they've got that dark fortress there and that settlement over there. They're probably going to wipe out that faction of Slanesh. He wasn't at war with the Crimson Skull. No, he is at war with them. Whether or not he took territory in them, I guess we'll find out. Break them. But he might actually get the second Dark Fortress by this point in the campaign. And you should be uh, prepared to have to fight two major battles to deal with St. Bald. Now here I'm just going to have to wait. If he marches out, fair enough. I win, take him out. I can win the field battle. I'm not so sure about... Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about... Dark Fortress. Inside of it. All right. So I'm going to corner camp because Sigvald is going to be is going to try and flank me. And he had he does have the flanker yes, units Lord. to achieve that, by the way. Whereas if I corner camp, it suits me just fine, with the exception of his hell cannon bombarding me. But that is a small price to pay for flank security. And it's just one of those situations where you really don't want to be caught in the open by so fault. He is an absolute menace. The way I'm going to deploy the trolls. There is no way he breaks this front line. Zero zilch. So inter uh, so 
what is it, interspersing, I think it is the term. Um, but putting units like that... Okay. Here they come. Uh... Now bear in mind, I win this battle, he doesn't just get to walk away from this. If he could walk away, I would out result. This fight for damage. Signal versus Belfort. By, by messing my blopping up my units in such a way, I ensure they take uh, less damage. He can't break, by the way, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But I'm gonna confederate Sigurd. Once he dies, it's all over. Or once he breaks, it's all over. Of course, the Hell Cannon is going to be a bit of a nuisance. I'll just send Bellacore to deal with it. Speed it up. If Sigvold uh, withdraws.
There, there's big tree. I'm being curious, I gotta admit, how did he attack me? Did he attack me via the sea then? Well, either way, his army, Bellacor's army, is still going to replenish. Ah, the benefits of Nurgle. Destroy all. There is no escape from the Dark Master. Okay. Bellacor. So that means Yeah. Do not test Kane's priestess. It had to Am be I that. supposed to listen? Very well. Bl Azizel. Maslani? What? Different World Scrooge. There had to be an explanation, right? So he did take a dark fortress, but it's not to the north. Because Blood Mountain is held by... Uh, the forces of chaos. Enter then. Always ready for a headbutting contest. Hellebron. Then we get the situation with Hellebron. And Valkia after that. Or Cain's. Am I supposed to listen? Agreeable. Cain's artisan of pay. Now. The first damned. Get Dark Master. Get the uh, Chaos Vanguard More as an power. ability. Once I unlock the Blood Pact. Lord of Shadows. I'll get even more power there. The first Demon Prince. Lord of uh, For him. Get more in training, get Foe Seeker. Get Blade Shield. And yes, I would love to very much to have a mage right now, but I don't really have the money for it. Regardless, I'm going to go for the Frozen City. Either brave or a fool. I... Okay. 
So now I am going to put a portal on Bellacor's position. All goes to plan. The portal will be useful in terms of getting back here when I want to deal with that. For now, though, we are going to march on Harganef. Master into darkness. Follow me. The Dark Master walks. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Mother of the Prince? What? Are you a god? What do you want, fool? I want you to bend the knee, my friend. Right, what level is it? What? All these lovely level three fortresses. It has corrupt. Why them All right, they just lost their army. I'm just gonna I take know it over. That I see. We shall weave the fates. Get some Forsaken. Red Marcher. Chaos Vanguard. They're a little, uh, little army over there. Will not be quite sufficient. Uh, to put the stop to me. More vassals. More expansion. Now, if I can stop uh, my um, other vassals from taking advantage of this situation, that would be pretty damn sweet. Because I don't want them to take the settlements. I want to have as many vassals as possible. More vassal tribute, all that good stuff. I do wonder if I can give the settlement to the west yours is not to question me i have all so the muslim get wiped out potentially no it's still around <laughs> wolfric is coming though Marauders all. full damn stacks The first damned. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. The tribe consents. <laughs> Depravity reigns. Speak. We are both their puppets, but the yes. Now they will see true power. Okay. The chaos. The gods now one thing I can do here Denied. is move him into an ambush stance to draw them in. Now, after this, I can start working on making Harganef bend the knee by taking over all of their uh, settlements. You have found me. Not particularly interested. So that, that minor faction of corn is just going to take out this Laneshi one. Opportunity loss, sure, fair enough. By, by putting um, 
by putting a portal by the Dark Fortress there. The first. I've allowed this myself right. they shall fall. room. I foresee destruction. Okay, let's wipe them out. The four token. I hunger for some. The true strength of Bellacor's army. Rip. The first demon prince. Moving. Okay, let's see what we got here. You need a boom? By the Eldritch I see. Now over here, I don't necessarily care about that, so I'm just gonna get Skill more acquired. cast vanguard. Guard maker. And also more in blade shield okay. for his survivability. Path to glory still available. More structures still available. Corruption is get this to tier 2. Your paltry hordes are no mud. Artisan of pets. Divine, tell me I am beautiful. Princess. Your will? Whichever wolf. Northman, come. Alright, I get two gifts of chaos as a choice. That replenishment in foreign territory is amazing. Especially for a faction like the Warriors of Chaos, which doesn't necessarily care about holding territory except like fortresses, which very rarely get attacked anyway. Now once this army has finished its job, I can try and send in North to help out Belakor against um, Harganef. Because Celebron is... Well, she's powerful. She's very powerful, in point of fact. She might even wipe me out if I'm not particularly careful. Now, I still want to get... Um, Fear me. For whatever reason, Mosulon is going to end that agreement. Foolish. The broken wheel have been wiped out. It has corrupt. Are you a god? Feel the slaughterer. Now, one unit you should never underestimate in cast uh, campaigns are these cast trolls. I've been looking forward to this. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. I would say, I would dare argue, Fine. that it's best to accept the peace right now. And come back and take Depravity minutes. reigns! You dare. Lord of Shadows. Harbinger, take heed. Time to die. And so I have confederated him. So sing in Let's get this so we can get the sorcerer. Now with that piece sort out. Twelve turns until I can get the portal there.
But now this army can get Savage Doom. And can start going home. You dishonor me! Oh shit. There's a bit of a issue actually. No lie. Now I'll seek a war with Hellebron, but on my terms. Though it might be best to actually declare it this particular turn, get more in chaos vanguard, so that that army that I have, that my vassal has there, at least gets used in some way. I have a mind to slaughter you. Con Your she words will she is at war with Falcon. Slaneshi Herald Blood Queen. I would not feel so good for someone who has You're to fight. Forced. Enter then. Are you after a drink? A fist fight? Or I'll give these guys some territory. Like Calibron can keep all of Harganef as far as I'm concerned. But these two regions. I intend to give to uh, my vassal. Okay, so Hellebron wiped them out, but that's fine because I wanted her to. I wanted them to be weakened. Oh, Wolfric, the capital is under threat by legions and legions of Bretonians, and you're coming here. <laughs> Get the fuck out. In all seriousness, GTFO. I've got more important things to deal with. Maybe I should raise another army. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Your demeanor. T Follow Ogu's winds. Whichever woeful deity. Oh, yeah, I can you. give them the long shades here. A graveyard. We spill. Divide. Marauder princes. Mutant beast. I foresee destruction. But when Sigvold yes. uh, becomes ready, Never stop. I will uh, raise another army with him. Four turns. He's pretty high level too. So that will be nice and useful. Always ready for a true savages. Straight to business. Okay, get we'll the trade agreement favorite. with these guys. Artisan of pain. I'm not going to repair that. I find your motives unclear. Which master do you serve? They could give me a lot for that. Might even be worth doing it. You think to burn? Slaneshi. Actually, actually, now I think about it. This army could do a sneak invasion of Azazel's core territory. Well, Kislev, right? There are multiple options. But I think they would be able to win that auto resolve scenario. Or maybe not. Or maybe we send it to Bretonia. Choices, choices, choices. This is the thing about Warriors of Cast. You are strong and you do have a lot of options in your campaign. Gotta be careful what you choose though. I do need profane weaponry to unlock Chosen. Well. 
where is... Or do I have Chosen already? Yeah, I do. Rites of Ascension. Fair enough. The first demon prince. Let's get Chosen. One unit coming right up. Shadows overcome. Harganeth needs to be defeated by a thousand cuts. Because Hellebron... I've played the campaign as a Leaf and R. I can tell you one thing about Hellebron. She doesn't joke around. She has a really good starting province, which means she has a really good economy. And she doesn't have any major threat to weaken her early on in the campaign. So she's quite capable of saving a lot of money in her campaign. And getting very, very strong as a result of it. Now look, if Wolfric takes over this territory, I'm tempted to just give it to him. Uh, to give Dargoth as well to him. I might be tempted to declare war on Valkyrie at this point. Master. I shall scar you. Take them burn. Un make them. Lord of Shadows. Okay. Now he's got shadow magic, so I'm gonna look. Yeah, there we go. My magic is yours. What do I want to get rid of though here? Well, I think the spawn of Tinge is probably I the best bet. Hunger for souls. Upgrade that. Move. You need a boom. Very well, I'll move. Deliver your missive and then divine immortality. Artisan. Marienburg is at war with the Empire. Interesting. It has corrupt. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Hello, Prince's Herald. What? Well, my Eldritch, I see. Tribesmen, gather. I will not blight my soul. Alright, that army is still gonna head towards home. I would rather not lose them as a minor faction. I have half of Norsk under my direct control. The other half is held by Trog or Azazel. And Azazel, as usual, ends up doing jack shit. I have two stacks. The one problem with Bellacor's campaign is that the terrain of Norsk is kind of awful. This is why I prefer playing Tra Trog as opposed to... Wolfric in a Norsecon campaign, because as Wolfric you deal with a lot of this stuff on your own. Alright, so here they are. Has the perfect prince forsaken us? Pretty unfortunate, all things concerned. You shall speak and Wow, that's a hell of a thing. Lord of Torment, the first damned. All goes to plan. Siphon power. Call me master. The gold. Yeah, metal shifting. I must keep my holy vow. No. Should I get the cast lord? I can't afford one. Right, death, iron skin. Iron skin, die. Besieging a dark fortress is madness. Besieging a dark fortress when there's two other fa vassals that can 
and will take advantage of the ter uh, the situation. Like, especially this army here. It is a risk to leave my homeland undefended. Though I can live just fine even without. Back to the shadows. Even just fine. Um, even if I lose my territory in Albion. Oh, so Hellebron's two stacks have decided to show up. Now, I can go after Valkia and Confederate Valkia as well. Over here. Leave Malachi for take Grand. Confederate Grand. Assuming Valkia hasn't wiped it out. Even if she has wiped it out, give that territory to Alibron. Make her the ultimate powerful OP vassal. Because this is where the real power of the Warriors of Chaos always comes into play. I foresee destruction. Bring ruin. I will guard you. Now you guys might rightly ask, okay, so you do that. The dark master. Okay. This is not necessary. Your demeanor tells me you aren't here to duel. Too bad. Done and done. Depravity. Dominate. Divide. Uh, Muscle. Yes. Could I win? 2v1. First demon prince. That's asking for a lot. That's asking so for a lot. Many snowflakes. Cain, take you. The first damned. Let's just move him here. Dominance. Try and draw them in. Yes. Oh, yes. Get that favor over there. Right, so they've this won. Income. My fellow warlord. Now, one key element to know about Valkia. Ooh, she actually has all of this. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Words cannot move. Peaceful confederation is not an option for warriors of chaos. I can tell you one thing at least. Lord of Shadows. I'm gonna put myself in an ambush stance, and my hope is that Hellebron will only show up with one army over here, or at least I get the ambush done. Here. Let's see if Wolfric decides to join in the fun. Well, I guess I have no other choice but to... I'm fine with that. The four token. Immediately. This will be a nightmare. And one I'm not sure I'm quite well suited to defeat. It might not be good to try this. I'll tell you one thing, Hellebron sure as hell loves Dark Shards. <laughs> Greatly loves Dark Shards. Like in every campaign that I've fought so far, 
she's always masked them to a ridiculous degree. Adroy. Now, if I try and charge directly at her, I'll get wiped out. There's no middle ground on that. It's not because the army in front of me is so powerful. It's rather that the secondary army that is going to show up will do it. Now, I might just simply need... Harbinger! You face the first. Morkar could not defeat me. What chance have you? They're coming. Hold back. I do have some magic. If they can get some of those dark shards, that will be so good. Nine minutes. All will be despoiled. God's bloody glory. Time to destroy. Chaos to shred. Cease. By their wish. Okay, let's send the trolls. On a flank there. No, I am not particularly concerned about the Hell Cannon, I can tell you that much. Attack the mortals! Lead us to mortals! What? Quickly! Souls for my masters! Charge. All right, pull back. The concern I Summer have in this battle 
is that my, God's cold. my units are good, but they're slow. At once. All right, they're pulling back. Wow, what the hell was that? All will be despoiled. So, the problem with their speed, really, is they're not quite capable. Of catching up to the very, very fast. Well, not very fast, but to some of these guys, to the dark charts. Which means they can run in circle around in circles around me and wipe me out. As is already starting to happen. I may have met my match. I seek. Pull him back. Yeah, too many dark shards, too much. Too much power over there. God Slayer! As long as I keep them alive, though, the battle's not yet over. All right, I'm just gonna exit to the main menu. Um, I think the only way You know what the laughable element in all of this is? Hellebron is actually an awful legendary lord in a lot of ways. But, simply because she has a very good start, um, she can embody a strength that others can't. I would not play Hellebron if you want to pick a campaign, but damn, she's got power. What do you do? Well, if I do... I need to wipe her out. Like, essentially, I need to deploy all my units to face her and charge her quickly. And then maybe we'll... Uh, rather, before her army, her allies do a lot of damage. But between the trolls, Bellacor. Blood letters and I should have done this from the beginning, I admit. Sometimes you just gotta experiment. And this situation is as bad as it can get, I'm not gonna lie. 
Two entire stacks against one of yours. Most of the time as Warriors of Chaos, you do steamroll the campaign map with, without even thinking about it, really. Uh, in this case... Alright, so they're not going to do anything. I can't fight and win against both these armies, but I can fight and win against her. I can fight and run against her army. What? His will. Weaken her army sufficiently. Maybe even kill her. I am channeling. Now, those reinforcements are going to arrive. That's what the master's been! Die! Die to despoil! Kill them all! Brother horsemen! Slash! Cut! Slay every mortal! Reinforcements, allied reinforcements have arrived. Survivability that she does have. Sometimes you just gotta call it out as ridiculous as it's gotta be. It won't break either. Our master 
Like the hell? There she goes. All right, let's see how much damage these guys are going to do. Hopefully some. Yeah, that's Hellebron in a nutshell. Ah, fight you want to pick. <laughs> if you can avoid it. Not here. Belakor. Come to me. Let us corrupt. Tempt me not. Enter then. Are you after a drink? A fist? Tribesmen gather. A timely arrival. My warhounds haven't eaten in days. Understood. Depravity, Marauder, Divine, you Prince's Herald. My Eldritch, I see. Ah, ah, yes. The gods direct me. The first Demon Prince. Submit to the bear. Well, a bit of a shame I lost those Marauder Horsemen. Lord of Torment. That was a bloodbath, regardless. Gonna get Rally. More power. Hey, if you ever find Dark yourself in that situation, master. that's the way you deal with it. Good. Now we see. Yeah, that was a particularly Slaughter. bad one. Words, and we're not even finished. Still lost. Well, after all. Ridiculous. Even though most of the army Call here. Me master. Right, so. Now, if Ulfric wasn't My such a useless pile of trash, we might have been able to win that. Ah, two stacks, three stacks, four stacks. Gosh. 
I know I need to deal with Hellebrand, but damn, sometimes you just gotta hate that bullshit. <laughs> I don't know how she maintains that. I, I've seen, uh, well, I've seen Malakov maintain two and a half stacks, but three and a half? Yeah, you start getting into l ludicrous levels. Like, no joke, Hellebrand can fight Valkyrie to a standstill. And that's no small feat. Considering how powerful Valkyrie is in a straight-up fight. Like, literally unkillable. I mean, if you think Hellebron was insane there, Valkyrie is even worse. God maker. Obviously. Let's get the Supreme Vanity prick. Alright, let's not get that. Dark Prince wishes. You waste my time. All goes to plan. Witness my beauty. I will act this. So word with his voice, with the way he speaks, by the way. The first damn. Anyway, moving closer. You need a boom. Now. If he lands, he's dead. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, bit of a uh, public order issue. Oh, what a glorious mess. I can my leaf in our campaign that I did uh, recently. Uh, the only one that was able to defeat me was actually Hellebron. Why? So many dark shards. And people s talk about the melee meta. Yeah, your melee meta could take a hike. Those many dark shards, you're not walking out of that fight easily. What has Full Freak even been doing? Running around like a headless chicken, really. Okay, I'll just throw sick vault at the problem of dark off. The interesting situation is that sick vault is uniquely well positioned to war with uh like sick vault can deal with uh, with her you pretty dare. well. A beautiful decision. I am shadow. But that's because Sigvald. Frozen hearts fracture, Lord of Shadows. You are mine. Just get to all of these guys. A lot more blood letters than I would care for. Oh. You wish for them. Ravish them. They got wiped out. More money. We shall weave the fates. Now they will see. Alright, get that casualty replenishment sir out. Get move in with him. Get metal shifting. Alright, they've taken the harbor over there. Now over here, I would want to get this. Well, there's a lot of things I would like to get, really. The four token. Yes. This will fail. If no. that army collapses. What is this foolishness? So Definitely that's two full not. stacks. Between the these, uh, that's a third, basically. So yeah, <laughs> full stacks. That is insane. I don't care how you call it, that is just simply bananas. It's still early on in the campaign as well. 
And mind you, some factions may maintain free stacks early, so early on in the campaign, but the Dark Elves don't have the economy for it. Where is she getting the money from? I'm kind of starting to develop a view that... Okay, so Creative Assembly toned down the benefits, right, that the AI gets on higher difficulty. But I'm starting to develop the genuine view that it doesn't apply to every faction. The Hellebron probably has the older uh, styled benefits. Because otherwise, I, I can't explain. Like, yes, she has a powerful province that does have four... Uh, four settlements in it. All the same. Avert your eyes. Despoil! Ravage them! All right, let's take that out. Lord of Torment. Shadows overcome ice. The Dark Master. All right, Bretonia is marching their full Not in this world or the other. force against that. You have my promise. What could I do? Well, there's nothing I can do, unfortunately. Over here. The best I can do is open a portal once I'm finished with, uh, with her. Master. You may think that. The first damned god maker. Bring them to ruin. Alright, so Sigvald is occupying that. I'm two turns away from getting exalted blood letters. Still insane. Victory is okay, all I do that have matters. all of these regiments of renown. So let's get some of these. Well, you don't expect things to go this way, that do you? Anyway, ten armor. She has two stacks again, anyway. This will fail. No. I am going to kill her. Even if I had to cheese to utter, to reload that result, because you don't expect that, like, you steamroll so much with your campaign that it takes you by surprise, I'm not gonna lie. More in Golden Hounds to use that. For him. Well, that's... Useless, useless, and even more useless. Well, that's pretty good. But of course, the mod that you really want to use is this, the one button. Like, playing Warriors of Chaos in particular without this is just asking for trouble. Post-battle loot. Your success chance, that's pretty useless. Is that worth it? Demonic. Stylish, get stylish, that's always gonna be good. Okay, I wonder if this applies to Slanish, uh, to Azazel. Melee Defense and Chosen of Slanish, okay. Get the Chaos Vanguard, and I'll get one more skill point. Witness my beauty. So you do want to... You do want I to get those um, those units. I now what I'm going to do here is open a portal uh, from here, Mega. basically. 
Your demeanor tells me I can you give him Dagoff again. Too bad. Yes. Dagoff. Call me master. Handsome. And I can also use these two. Denied. All right, Wolfric is gonna commit suicide over there by the looks of it. Gonna get this structure to a higher level to be able to upgrade this faster. Get cast corruption over here. So, uh, so corruption is gonna be well as a result of Sigvald. One downside of confederating Sigvald is the fact that he does generate Slanishi corruption. I am the harbinger. The full. Nope. <laughs> You're a little shitty coward. That's why he is. Sacrifice yourself for the greater good, or the greater good of Bellacor, Wolfric. It will be worth it. I assure you. The problem is, she's got those cities. The province is. A good one, a really good one. And she's got all those settlements very close to laid together. She's got a lot of armies. Is Wow. Maybe I should just play Hellebron. The first. Follow Ogu's winds. Let us go! You lurk in the shallows. I am Slanesh's scion. Moving farther. I'll move, I suppose. The four token. Okay. Well, I could afford the path to glory. To corn. How much do I have in terms of... Lord of Alright, so I need more of this to get more casualty or plunge for core units. My ascension is assured. Win five battles, win a battle against multiple armies. Don't worry, that's coming right up! Alright, so that's Corn Authority, ward save. That would be a lot of a uh, decent amount of ward save. Or Corn Authority in this army. There are various uh, benefits over here. This one can give me standard. I do already have this anyway. Cast uh, strategist. 5% war save. Let's get that. God maker. He's got 4 at the moment. I can increase the uh, corn authority though. Uh, through all of this, right? If I get all this good stuff. Oh dear, though. Oh dear. Alright, so this army is going this to do a lot. Now, Lu and Leonkor. Whichever woke how long? Deity protects you. Okay, I could it declare war him. in one turn. And I think yes. I will go and do so. Oh, wow. Well, one stack is at least in the north, but <laughs> it looks scarier than it actually is in this particular case, because I do have two and a half stacks here. Okay, so she's wiped out. Poor Wolfric. Finally, he's pl uh, paid the price that he was supposed to. If I once I start moving in to Harkonnen and the Black Pillar, things will change for the better. And the research is almost done. All right, so Valkia is moving in there. Now you know what the best part isn't gonna be in all of this. 
I'm gonna get Telebron on my side. Oh yeah. Everything she's doing... Here. Okay. Very good. Lord of Torment. Destroy. Very, very good. Time. What I really need, though, is to unlock one more undivided gift and start working my way to get hell cannons. Witness my beauty. Forward unto slaughter. Excellent. I'll just occupy it. I don't have the movement ready right now. I would love. I really like it. This is right. Alright, win a battle with 2,000 kills. Yeah, have fun with that one. The Dark Master. Right over here, get stand and die or die. Abilities. Get the vision. Good. Now we got more research available. All authority. Okay, that would create. This would give me the ability to get cast knights. It is mine now. And then I can also get Pack Ice Bay. Because it's going to take a while for Bellacor to go home. But yeah, with all of these vassals over here. What is this foolishness? Like, Bretonia is being contained. If you play Bretonia, you have to deal. You are going to be dealing with Bellacor. Cain's bride. Flee while you see Cain's priestess. I might have to end up declaring war against Valkyrie at this point. Partly because I want Spite Reach, and partly... Okay, so they're pulling back over there. To... Uh, Quark. And it's quite likely that Vi Valkyrie is going to throw all, all she has against them. Where is Valkyrie anyway? Stay in the shadows. And we might They're still alive. Maybe I can just buy the settlement offer. Attempt to deceive me, and you will meet your end by Slaupnir's point. Depravity She's reigns. asking for quite a bit for that. Mother of despair. The first, the four token. Venture forth. Fool. Attack. Ready. Move now. My adoring boy. I have a mind. All right, that will keep me going for one more turn. There's my hope that Valka is not just gonna walk all over, uh, over what remains of Harganef. That would be a shame. A real shame for Valkyrie to just claim everything right there. Alright, so I'll just subjugate them. If they're still alive by the end of it. 
Hell of a journey, though. Hell of a journey. But I admit that this is a f far more interesting campaign than a lot of other ones that are available. Having to, you know, worry about trying to vassalize certain factions like this. Okay, she's still alive. Lord of Shadows. I shall scar you. You wouldn't dare. God Maker. Destroy. Serve me well. I am mighty. All right. The I can get Keanu's nice for that. Me. My blades are poised. Enter at your peril. You want me to pay you for that? Try oh, well. for if all those as foreseen. The He's still alive. No. I must. The Troll King Rog is just a son. I am your. Yeah, military action. Darkness. What? Mistress. Hunger for souls. Okay. Destroy. Good. Uh, we can merge all of these to get together and see how, what we need. Get rid of these then. Get some. Uh, it has corrupt. All right, the spawns can't be upgraded into anything else. I feel I should get rid of these Forsaken and instead get more. Good. Well, Valkyrie is next. Back to former glories. The gods. Alright, upgrade that. Oh, she still had an army. A misplaced word will mean your death. Consort your tribal fury. Oh, they're interested in a peace tree. The Dark Master Ascendant. I'll be quite honest, it's easy to understand why in a lot of campaigns Valkyrie loses. Because here's what happens. Sigvald comes in from the north, takes the Frozen Palace, makes a deal likely with uh, Helibron. Right? Valkyrie ends up in a war with Harkonneth. Words cannot move me. Fine. Very well. Love as Yes. And between the two of them combined. This comply. True savages. Between the two of them combined, she might be strong. She is really strong. It has corrupt. But she's not so strong that she can deal with both these at the same time. 
and it's understandable what happens there and why it happens I mean you saw it for ourselves I almost lost hell I lost really I did lose it just use the cheese right there to demon prince make up for it who are these grotesque readers? Hot fool. Oh. Now, what's interesting is that these I don't like snow either. Hounds. Now, do I need that anymore? I don't think so. The problem you're gonna fight if face as Bellacor though later on in your campaigns is being able to maintain all of it. <laughs> this is, why does she get high elven units? That's so silly. All powerful sorceress. That is so so incredibly silly. Well, anyway, another uh, situation is going to develop here where the continuation of this, the natural continuation, is I take Ron, sell it to Halebron for a lot of money, take out Valkia, Confederator, take out Malekith, eventually put down a portal so I can finally invade Bretonia. And then eventually go south. Depends on whether or not Kairos is winning or losing. I think in a lot of campaigns what ends up happening is uh, Kairos uh, tends to uh, tends to win. Take heed. You shall charge them out. In vain. The Lord of Murder's host stands ready to annihilate your kind. Now she didn't have any other enemies at this point. Dark must dominate. By the outrage I see. Alright, they decide to leave me be. Big mistake. And now they're subjugated. Damn us. Bringer of glory. Good. Another happy vassal. Now over here. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. I Het woman! All right, the Mung have uh, ground itself. The dark master. Unleash chaos. Lord of torment. Sorceress of the to flee, while you still have the legs to do so. Understood. And that would be about it. I finally got all that territory confederated her properly. Chosen of Hecate. And she's finally she's gonna turn all that she has over here to uh, to wipe out to wipe them out. Do not waste my time with Dark. Mistress and I can then skulls. start my invasion over here Britain of the Empire. Beauty. Hell of a thing, really. Hell of a thing. Rapid ruination. Excellent. The first. This is why, by the way, the whole situation. 
gifts of corn, gifted units of blood letters, capacity plus two. Uh, this is why, by the way, though, uh, I'm going to get uh, slash. Uh, this is why I vastly prefer uh, playing Archeon if I'm going to play anyone. Or I'll have done divide the ones because, like, yeah, it's nice to have all the gifts. <laughs> Don't get me wrong on that, but it's not so nice when you can't actually use uh, the gifts because if you start using them, you're in deep, deep trouble. Like, for instance, uh, Demonets or some other units for Slanesh, for Sigvold, that is kind of out of the question. I mean, eyes. and the problem is, for obvious reasons, I can't uh, get that. Like, so I'm going to need to get those, Bring that brand over there and transform these guys into... Oh, I can get one Marauder of Slanesh. Or not necessarily. Guess I was wrong about that. Oh, let's just get a giant. But anyway, Kostin signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, enable notifications, and stay tuned for more. Obviously, you would want to get more mages than I have, exalted heroes, etc. And eventually save up enough souls to actually use those um, to uh, to upgrade them but that is a problem although to be fair you can confederate legendary lords so why would you care about regular heroes and lords when you know you can use the legendary ones Sigvald, Falkia, etc or Azazel if you so desire or hell even Archeon if you're playing Bellacor. I think Arcan is in a much better spot, though, to deal with this, because you can just expand westward and confederate everyone along the way. In fact, that is the best campaign plan available. But yeah, after, after what I just dealt with, this is uh, going to be a pretty easy affair. Go see and sign out, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.